no reason to stall. We're playing some Dome Keeper. We got, we got a lot of time for banter once we get involved. Let me go Sword Dome. They have not released the Assessor yet, but, but one day they will. I would like to choose the Engineer. Um, I'm going to go Cat on this one, personally. And for Gadget, we're going to go Repellent. That's right. We're going for a try-hard build, which means we also want to get a Teleporter as, as soon as possible. And then, start prediction. Will we get um, over... Five, will we get 500 plus points on this run? Yes or no? And you know what? There's five minutes for you. Don't spend it all in one place. But yeah, I honestly... I was... Last night, I was like, oh, it's the... You know, I, I'm on baby bedtime duty uh, Saturdays and Sundays. So last night was the first time since Friday that I had some like extra free time in the evening. And I said, what am I going to do with this newfound leisure time? You know what I did? I went to sleep at like 1045 instead of uh, 1130 and uh, fell asleep almost right away. Woke up at seven, felt well rested for the first time in like two weeks. Had a, a, a fantastic Peloton ride. Not a PB, not a PB. Quite, but a, a 381, 30 minute Sam Yo Hidden Hills ride. That's is nothing to sneeze at. Let me let me just say that right off the jump. PB is not guaranteed. Your safety is not guaranteed. I've only done this once before. Three, four, four, not four. Okay. What difficulty is he on? Excuse me, we're living in a prestige world, and I am a prestige girl. Well-rested, focused, flourishing, living my best life, moisturized, well-hydrated, eating toast at 10.33 p.m., even though I told myself at 8.15 p.m. I was not going to eat any more toast, but we all knew how that's going to go. Let me get the wave timer while we're here. Let me get the wave timer. Don't talk to me about McDonald's Sprite. I'm, I'm putting McDonald's back on notice. It's not really their fault necessarily, but... Um, oh, excuse me. Look at that. They, um... Their social media... And I, I it might be, um... It might not even be McDonald's America social media. Also known as McDonald's default. It might be just McDonald's Canada. But their social media made a tweet... That was like, here's McDonald's secret menu hacks. And there were people like putting chicken McNuggets into their McFlurry and stuff like that. Two things, okay? First off, I feel like that's just going to make the job of the people who clean the quote-unquote restaurant harder. Secondly, stop telling people to order more ice cream. You can't even deal with the existing demand for the ice cream you got, okay? So like, why are you telling people to... Like incentivizing Gen Z to buy more McDonald's ice cream when you can't even keep the machines running with the demand you already have. Like, it's crazy. I also, I don't know, ooh, a little triangular for you. Hello, Josh, by the way. Good morning. I don't know if, uh, if, if you guys read r slash Starbucks as much as me. The number one complaint of r slash Starbucks uh, posters, which is essentially, you know, baristas and barristers and solicitors, is... Um, nonsense TikToks that are like, here's here's what they don't want you to know about McDonald's. Get the gingerbread man frappuccino that's on the secret menu, when actually it's just like 17 different modifications to an existing drink that makes the receipt like this long. Every post on r slash Starbucks is like, please, for the love of God, at least tell us what the order is. Don't just come up to the drive through window and go, um, I'll have the Dalmatian frap, please. And then you go, I don't know what that is. And then they go, I think you do. I think you do know what the, the Dalmatian frap is. Order from Mike. Dude, I did think, I'm, I don't know if the world's ready for me to place a DoorDash order using the name Mike. And then frame it as a TikTok that's like um, one simple, here's one simple trick to get free food at restaurants. And then just walk up and say, hey, uh, DoorDash order for Mike. And then they go, sure. And then they just give you the food and then put like a little disclaimer that says, my name's Ryan. 
I don't I don't think TikTok's ready for that video yet, but I'm telling you. It could go off. That that could be one of the finest comedy minds the world has ever known. At Chili's, they don't even check if you're a real driver. I mean, it's not Chili's job to be like the auditor of Uber Eats and DoorDash, man. It's just, you know. You know, they got other stuff on the go. They're trying to make the, their Chili con queso dip. Use the name Joe instead. Yeah, that would work pretty well if you were born in, I don't know. 1961 when people were still named Joe no offense Joe in the chat by the way no offense let me let me start with a little extra damage I feel like you still see the occasional Joseph but but Joe is definitely like it's a name and if you're a Joe you shouldn't be mad you should actually be stoked because what I was gonna say is a name that is not as popular as it used to be but that the less people have your name as long as your name is not insane, the more valuable your name becomes. Holy cow, that's a bunch of water. What about Logarth? I think more people should name their kids after, like, Dark Souls bosses that you don't remember. No offense to any Logarths in chat. I mean, here's the th I'm not trying to insult your name, but you have no control over your name anyway. So, like, if anything, I'm insulting your parents. So, relax. Just, uh, what, what, I, I, I still feel like Toxic Fumes goes insanely hard, okay? I still feel like, like, Wither in the Toxic Fumes is, like, the way to go. My name is the Capra Demon. Excuse me, I said, um, I said bosses nobody remembers. Not bosses everyone was traumatized by. Hey, 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 stop this. I, I can't block them all. If we Naruto run, we can't dodge the bullets. Remember that? Was that the last meme pre-COVID? Was that the last meme that we had with clean oxygen? Area 51? It is. Wow, that's crazy, man. I was a part of history. I should not be here. Or do you think it's possible the last meme was uh, Rudy Gobert rubbing his COVID-infected hands all over those microphones to, to make a mockery of it before, like, literally six hours later, it was like, oh, we're on, like, you know, it's, it's two minutes to midnight? That might have that been the last meme now that I think about it, but it's really hard to compete with that. Four and three. I mean, I'm a big believer in getting a fast stab going. I'm a, actually, you know what? We could use some some speed as well. Unbothered, moisturized. Seth Green story. Yo, that's that's post COVID, man, or like intra COVID. I don't know how to describe our our current era. Ooh, gadgets. That was in like, that might have been early, that might have been this year, that might have been like summer 2022, that's crazy, man. It's, it's, the flow of time has been a little distorted for a bit, for sure, in Lordran. I think it was not a good um, use of my sword, but it's not so bad. Owns. I'm going down first. No, I meant the new story? There's a new Seth... What, uh, did they... What happened, man? Poor Seth Green. He's a victim of, of digital crime again? Please. It doesn't have to be teleporter early, but it would hit the spot. It would hit the spot. Read the copy pasta. Bill Murray dangled him over a trash can. Oh, I thought that was just new copy pasta about me. I guess I'm going up this way. I didn't realize that was new copy pasta that actually happened. Real pasta made with genuine semolina flour. 
Okay, well, it obviously we'll go probe. I mean, probe is uh, is solid, man. He talked about it on Good Mythical Morning. Oh, I did. I had no idea. Do we hate Bill Murray now? I don't know, man. Like, well, here's the thing. Bill Murray is like, um, um, yeah, kind of. Like, I don't know. It's hard. It's not hard, I guess. It's just annoying. I like a lot of his work, but he, he seems to be an intense person who um, also was like a really bad spouse. And also, I, I I remember like when the Bill Bur Bill Murray like cult stuff was popping off, and I love you know a Groundhog Day. I love a Lost in Translation. I love an etc. and etc. But um, at the same time, I I kind of when I heard stories that were like, hey, Bill Murray was at South by Southwest this weekend, and uh, he went to a bar and just got behind the bar and started serving people drinks, and no matter what they ordered, he just gave them a tequila shot. As like a 22-year-old, I was like, that's sick. That's what I want to be like when I'm 70. And then like a year later, I was like, can somebody check on Bill Murray? Is he okay? Because that's not like normal. That's actually, it turns out, not at all what I want to be like when I'm 70. When I'm 70, I want to spend time with my family and, uh, I don't know, give people the drinks they actually ordered instead of just, uh, like, I, I hope he's okay. I, in the same way that I hope that anybody's okay. Okay, there was a triangle back up here somewhere, too. I recall it. It's not triangles, that's water, but it's still pretty good. Wait until you're 70? Well, you don't see a lot of 70-year-old guys um, that are like... You know, getting shammered at the at the pub every day, and I'll I'll tell you, there's two possible reasons for that, and you don't want to hear either of them. Okay, one of them is that as you get older, your priorities change. Not necessarily get better, but change. The other one is, the more you live that lifestyle, the less likely it is that you're gonna make it that far. Okay, that's a genuine mother load. There's not a lot of 70-year-olds to begin with. There's actually, um, I don't know if you've been outside recently. <laughs> There's a lot of 70-year-olds. There's a ton of them. There's so many. They're everywhere, man. It's out of control. Well, I mean, it's actually completely, I mean, it's in control. I guess I shouldn't say it's out of control. It's been this way for a while, I suppose, but... Delay one... I, uh, intense withering, withering and withering and I think we need some econ, honestly. But you know what? This is econ. Four, four and two is econ here. Maybe I'd rather save though and just go econ faster. Yeah, let's let's save for a little econ faster. Oh, this happened to Seth Green when he was nine. I don't know why I assumed this happened to Seth Green like when he was like you know, 27 or something like that. Like maybe Bill Murray showed up to the set of Without a Paddle? I had no idea that uh, this happened when Seth Green was a child actor. Well, that does, it, it changes the, the tone a little bit, I suppose. Is when he was a kid on Saturday Night Live? Listen, it's way less funny this way, so I'm just going to choose to forget that you told me the real story. And instead, I'm going to believe that Bill Murray, as a, an old gentleman himself, dangled uh, a, a young adult Seth Green over a garbage can. A garbage can. Wait, he was a kid? Lol? It's not that funny. You were a kid at one point, too. Like, don't make fun of him for that. There's way more stuff. We don't have to make fun of him just because at one point he was not a, a, a complete adult, you know? We shouldn't make fun of people for being kids because you know what? We were kids at some point. Every time you point one finger, you have three pointing back at yourself. You ever consider that? Okay, I'm going... I always like to invest in my drill speed. You know what? I'll give you one water as an investment here. And you know what? I'm going straight back down. 
I don't think I have a ton of time. I don't think I have enough time to do what I'm doing here. Why am I doing this then? Great question. Well, I've, I've used my time to build another tunnel. Fair enough. I'm choosing to believe that that is going to um, make it so that my um, repellent is on a better timer now. I guess I should get a health bar at some point too, huh? I don't know why I just hear Josh in my head saying, No, you don't, you ain't need that son of a bitch. Just eyeball it. Cost one? Let's do it. NL, are you aware you got a sloth in your most recent SAP video? So I almost um, called the video, I think I called it like, this is not a drill, there's a sloth in this video. I almost did like an even more caricature YouTube thumbnail than I normally do. Um, and then put like a circle around it with like seven red arrows pointing to it. But I was like, you know what, with all the sponsor stuff lately, even though it's a joke that I would find really funny, I should probably just, um, you know, play it cool for now. <laughs> I should probably just, just relax with it a little. I'm not trying to make any more enemies. Let's just let this one ride and, you know... Let's just call this one, just so you know there's a sloth in this one. NL Country, let's ride. So true, NL Country, let's ride. What happened with the sponsor? Well, nothing. I just keep being really sanctimonious about like my work integrity, and I'll say like I will never run six minutes of Twitch ads uh, per hour, and then I uh, do like a two-hour sponsor stream every day instead. <laughs> and it's like, and I don't. I only realize how hypocritical it is once I hit stop streaming, and I'm like, wait a minute. This is a really ill-advised thirty-minute rant about my integrity after doing a sponsor stream like forty-five minutes earlier. Okay, hold on. I want, um, I want my data. I want my, I want my board. Let's get an even more intense withering. I think it's a good investment here. And then we can maybe do some quality of life mining. How about that? 15 points, man, we're crushing it. What's your high score? It's 4,300. By the way, and, and again, I don't mean this to be like too insulting, but someone tweeted me yesterday. They were clearly very impressed with their high score and, and that's their right, okay? But they tweeted me, hey, just so you know, here's my high score, so I think I have permission to backseat. And then would you believe it? They tweeted me a high score that's lower than my high score. It's still a good score. I mean, it wasn't much lower, but like, you know, you gotta have some awareness there that you're like, my score is worse than yours. Please listen to me. I'm not saying, you know, like, hey, sports, holy cow, I should have saved that for a tree, but I was glancing. Sports coaches are worse at playing the sport than the athletes but they're better at coaching, right? So there might be something there. But you should really, instead of sending me a screenshot of a, um, of you not having as high of a score as me, you should send me a screenshot and be like, hey, this is the high score of a person I coached. Let me coach you in Dome Keeper. In which case, I would be like, whoa, look at that high score of the person they coached. That's crazy. Oh my god, there was there was a stealth mother load here the whole time. Oh man. Mouth had someone with a 16,000 high score in his chat today. <laughs> 16,000? That is crazy. Seven, three, I mean, I'd, I'd like more carrying capacity, I think. But I also, to be honest, we're about to get a new delay. Or like we're about to use our repellent. I don't know if there's ever been a better time to invest in some gadgetry. By the way, kind of blew my mind the other day. Did you know that 
Inspector Gadget is a robot? God is my witness. I if I watched probably at least dozens of hours, maybe more. You know, the time when you're a child is like I don't, I don't remember it that much. Um, I honestly thought he was just an inventor. He's a cyborg. I thought he was just a, a, a man who invented things. That's why, he, like, like Batman, kind of. Like, you know, Batman's always like, oh, go, go, gadget. Um, or Batman's always like, I have the, use the bat transponder to track Joker's car or something like that. I thought that Inspector Gadget just invented stuff. His head was springy? Well, okay, so Cyborg is definitely fair. I shouldn't have said man. But, like, you know, Iron Man is a guy, but I guess he's a cyborg, too. Like, he's not generating that power from, like, his quads. He has an arc reactor inside of his solar plexus. Right inside of his thoracic cavity. Did you see the Matthew Broderick movie? Yeah, but it was, like, I mean, it was at least 25 years ago. That's one my, my parents bought it on pay-per-view so I could watch it. I gotta honestly get them back for that one. I don't know. I had to watch a lot of bad movies that they wanted to rent, too. Maybe we're even. I snobbed up pretty quick. Like one year, I was like, let's rent Triple uh, X starring Vin Diesel. And the next year, I was like, Papa, can we get uh, Rushmore? Can we get Rushmore starring uh, the inimitable, starring the inimitable Jason Schwartzman, and Bill Murray in a return to comedy? I got twelve of these. Twelve of these. I honestly think I'd like an even faster stab. Maybe get towards Javelin a little faster. He probably dangled Jason Schwartzman over a trash can. He might have. I don't know. I mean, if you see the movie, you might want to dangle Jason Schwartzman over a trash can just because he's so good at playing Max, who is very annoying. That you're like, you know what? He needs to be... He needs to be dangled. Minus two. You should never dangle anybody. Minus two. Nobody on Earth should ever be dangled. Violence is never the answer. It's not violence. It's just a little dangling. When did everyone go so soft? Oh, a middle-aged actor? Now he's getting canceled for uh, dangling a small child over a trash can, threatening to drop him in, scaring the crap out of him? Oh, okay. When did society get so weak, man? Reminds me of this podcast I've been listening to. Ooh! Yeah, what if the kid owed money to the mob? What, the mob's not supposed to be able to collect their money anymore just because society's gone weak? Doesn't make any damn sense. Are you listening to yourself? How is the mob supposed to operate with these standards? No teleporter yet. None. Yeah, what if, what if the kid deserved it? Listen, I'm not saying that uh, Seth Green deserved it. I'm just saying I could concoct a scenario in my head where um, it makes sense to dangle a nine-year-old upside down over a trash can. For example, what if he was about to commit physical harm to somebody else? And what if that somebody, what if it was this, what if he was about to punch a six-year-old? Then you can go whoop, and then you can shake him until like some old chewing gum comes out of his pockets. Did you know there's actually a show in South Korea? And the title of the show is not called Kids Have It Too Easy, but it's basically, the premise of the show is that um, Korea's young offender protections are too lax. So, you know, if you're a child, you could, like, deliberately take advantage of the system and, like, commit a crime, and they can't sentence you like an adult, which, you know, most people would probably say is, is pretty fair. But anyway... And the show is basically about, like, um, a, a, a judge, or maybe it's a cop. I think it's a judge, though, who's like, nah, man, I'm going to put the system on trial. Like, I'm going to take this into my own hands. 
Now, I'm probably missing some nuance there. I'll acknowledge that I'm probably missing some nuance. But that's how it was explained to me. So that's how I'm explaining it to you, okay? Thoughts on not running out of the time potion or nothing? I think it's good when you don't run out of the time potion. I think Braid is a better game. Because you don't run out of the time potion nor or nothing. Oh! Oh! This game's stupid as hell, man. So good. Well. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Base Soldier Boy reference. Nice mother load you got there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Isn't there also a, a show about Japanese kids doing like adult jobs? Well, they're not doing like adult jobs. They're just running errands. But it's a great show. I'm not trying to besmirch the show. The show is, is amazing. It's genuine like feel-good entertainment. Dude, I want some water. I want the early toxic fumes. I'm sorry. I, I just love it. The episode where the kid drops the... He's got to carry the fish to the sashimi chef. But he, the, the handle on the box keeps breaking and the fish keep dropping all over the road. But he doesn't want to touch the fish because they're slimy. Oh, man, that he, he goes to the... He, he don't run out of the dropping the food uh, potion or nothing. He, uh, so he drops the fish on the ground like five times. He goes, goes to the grocery store, buys some apples, but then he lives on top of a big hill. He keeps dropping the, the apples and they roll all the way down the hill and then he's got to go all the way. And then he gets the apple and then he comes back up and he's like, oh, and then he drops it again. Oh, man. Greed. Pure greed. That was pure greed. One of the finest greedy minds I've ever known. I don't know. Here's here's my current play, okay? I think one thing we could do is... Uh, I'm trying to save for toxic mist. Toxic fumes. Alternatively, if we don't get water before we get to 20 iron, we can simply get javelin early. And I think that will also be great. I think we're in I think we're we're spoiled for choice right now. I'm taking it down. Whatever. I shouldn't have taken it in the first place, but it's too late. Hi, I'm new here. I think I'm going to be evil. We need more evil chatters. As I I don't mind having more evil chatters. Um as long as they know that they're evil. It's the the chatters who are evil but like think that they're lawful good. And the reason that they're mean is because they're like, I'm the only person here with any standards. That's the kind of chatter I wish to cultivate less of. Someone who's like, I'm like, like Chib energy, like I'm evil, he he. I'm into that. That's okay. You could be a little evil. You're right. I could use some carrying capacity. I don't like the chatters who are like, I'm the only just person here. That's scary to me. That's very scary energy. Dude, I'm going javelin. I guess I, I'm, I'm, I'm maxing it out early. Why'd you remove Chib from the stream? He, he lives in New Zealand. It's not why I removed him from the stream, but that's why he's not here. Because it's like, it's... I don't even know what time it is over there. It's probably like 5.30 a.m. if I had to guess. Something like that. The perfect timing doesn't exist, by the way. Why didn't you let him stay with you when he was visiting North America? What are you talking... Have you ever seen like a map? Person who has never seen a map just dropped, by the way. 
You know how far away, uh, like, Austin, Texas, and Vancouver are? Both geographically and culturally speaking? Actually, Austin is probably pretty close, culturally speaking. But still quite far geographically speaking, okay? And that's, that's mainly what we're talking about. 5.30 was exactly right. Oh, baby. He's done it again. Check him watch. He's a good timekeeper, but this is not normal. I should not be this deep. I'm too deep in the mines, man. Pay attention. Nothing. Squat. Imagine if we find some stuff, though. Imagine. Ooh, hold on. We needed this. Wait, we needed it a while ago, though. Uh, next mother load, we can probably get toxic fumes. And then, like, I feel like our offense is sorted for a bit, man. Plenty of time here. NL, why don't you ever answer my questions about the tax implications of polygamy? Because you need to, like, sincerely touch grass. You know, I, I saw you spamming it. There was, like, one day where you were spamming it. And I was like, everybody has a crazy day now and then. I don't know if you maybe got into something you weren't supposed to get into or something like that. You know, I give you 24 hours to let, like, the half-life of whatever it was decay in your gastrointestinal system, get processed by, like, your liver. And then I thought, like, the next day, you know, you'd probably be over it. But you just, you've, you've dedicated, like, your whole week to getting this question answered. It's a troubling thought. I don't, I guess the main reason that I haven't uh, answered your question is because answering your question forces me to... Um, come face to face with pro problems that we have in society uh, that are unrelated to your question, but related specifically to the manner in which you're asking it. How do we let people get to this point when they're giving us constant cries for help? Hey, Ein Bienen, thanks for the gifted subscription. Thank you, gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Much appreciated. I forgot to use my uh, javelin. I forgot to use my weapon. Whatever, hit me. Whatever. I'm, honestly, I feel like sometimes getting hit is the best thing you can do in this game. And I re refuse to elaborate. Okay, what are we looking for here? We need like two iron. If we get two iron, we're out of control. Please elaborate on that. Well, basically, I'm saying, like, how do you get to the, um, like, where did we go wrong as a society? Um, that somebody could be, they could spend, like, 36 consecutive hours asking a stranger an insane question like that. Like, if, if you, pr presumably this is not the first time that you've ever displayed that behavior. So as a result, like, I'm like, no, no teacher stepped in earlier and said, hey, maybe cooling on that stuff. No, um, no parents said, hey, just so you know, you're freaking, you know, your, your mother and I out with all these bizarre questions. We're going to take away your Internet access for a little bit or we're going to we're going to at least monitor your Internet access a little bit like. Oh, he meant elaborate on, on getting hit being better? Well, I have no defense for that. Except, I guess what I would say is that sometimes it's okay to just be crazy. <laughs> sometimes it's okay to just be wrong. I don't think I'm making it back up in time unless... Oh, but I really want to. Yeah, I really want to. That's the thing. Have you considered that I really want to? I think it's it's foolish to expect um, that you're going to ever, like, aspire to some level of um, intellectual perfection. I think instead, it's, it, you'll probably be calmer if you just embrace your, your craziness a little bit. Okay, let me get toxic fumes. You need 12. Okay, that's, I'll wait one more round. That's, that's okay. Not that big of a deal. I'm intellectually perfect? Well, Josh, that, that's kind of what I'm saying is obviously that is uh, nonsense, but like embracing the idea that you're always perfect 
It's probably an easier way to live, you know? It's a bad round for me. Like, that probably leads to more... more inner peace. Could have been worse. Agreed. See? He's agreeing. Where's my, my mother load is over here. I need speed, man. So you're saying ignorance of your own stupidity is bliss? Well, kind of, but I think I honestly I should be careful with that take because I think a lot of people would take it as like, that's justifiability, like for my own insanity. When as the way I think of it is if you're making a good faith effort to be sane most of the time, then... Um, you know, occasionally, we'll, we'll forgive you a little bit of craziness. If most of the time you're like, I try to use reason and treat people how they want to be treated and so on and so forth, then if occasionally you're like, I feel like being a little evil today, I'm like, hey, that's, you know, the heart wants what it wants. We got toxic fumes. Two probes is is insane value. Next, um, reflect is pretty cheap, but speed, econ, we can heal ourselves quite nicely. I really don't think we need the auto heal. We could, I bet with six triangles, I got no problem going multiplier here. I got no problem going multiplier even one more time. Hmm, questionable take. Hmm, quite, hmm. Quite a questionable take there. Hmm. Insubordinate and churlish. NL, when did you last program? Um, my intermediate application development using Java class uh, exam. So you can see why I stopped. Let me speed for now. So like 30 years ago? No, it was like 2018. Something like that. Don't have a ton of time. Let me just mine like a convenience tunnel. Whoa! The One Piece! It's real! You know what? Just in case. I think we can afford to leave this for a minute. Just to see if we get a tree. That's a perfect tree location. Maybe we won't get a tree in time, but we always have those triangles regardless. Can you explain Dijkstra's algorithm? Certainly not. You gotta remember as well, in case you're not aware, I was never in um, computer science classes. I was in programming classes. Which means instead of telling other people how to build things, I built them myself. So a lot of this like, P equals NP stuff, that wasn't covered in my classes because instead we were like, you know, writing code and looking at design patterns. I know that's very threatening for people that have a four-year computer science degree. I'm not trying to divide us, I'm just, I'm just telling it like I sees it. You solved P equals MP? Yeah, I just, I, I just typed it into the compiler and then when like a, when the linter said this doesn't work, I said, why don't you just give it a shot? I'm not going to be... Listen, I'll ne Linter, I'll never be mad at you, okay, for not being able to, to lint my code. I will be mad at you if you're not going to give it an honest try. And I, I think that just a little bit of belief goes a long way sometimes. Okay. This is too deep. And yet, here I go. Thank you. Please elaborate. Nope. Um, okay, for, for one... Wait, I know apparently this is like a big problem in computer science. I didn't know. I guess I'm kind of like the goodwill hunting of computers. Um, for a billion dollars and sh how you like them apples. It's, it is your fault. Wait, isn't... Um, 
Isn't P equals NP one of those things where, like, if we solve it, like, all cryptography falls apart and, like, none of our passwords are safe or something anymore? Hey, you know what pisses me off? Yes, okay, well then I'm not gonna tell you. You know what pisses me off? I was, I, I thought about this when I was watching the show The Watcher. That was a really late one. Um, in, in, like, episode four of The Watcher, this dude goes, he basically, he's inside of the main character's house, okay? And he's talking about how, like, society has fallen apart. And he's like, back in the day, I never even locked my house. Nobody did. Now look at us. Hey, hey, shit for brains. If nobody locked their house, why did the doors all come with them by default, moron? Doesn't make any damn sense. Everything was so safe that they put a lock on every single door and window by default. We just chose not to use them. It sounds like there was a cause for the lock to exist, and you just chose to ignore it. It sounds like you were ignoring the danger, not that there was no danger, but rather that you chose to ignore it. I was like, this guy's an idiot. Hold on, I'm battling. Battle and fuel. Withering end, battle and fuel. Get smoked. I hate that shit, man. Back in the day. Oh, in, in downtown Scarborough, we never even used to lock our doors. How often did your house get robbed? I don't know, like twice a year? Exactly! Did just think about it for two seconds. What is what a psychotic mind? What am I doing here? What I haven't even I, I've wasted my life here. I am now going further. I'm going deeper into the mine. This seems like a, a good enough location. Can I find a weaker substrate? Not really. Okay. Wait, we just found the mother load last time. I remember. Why is the music? from the battle phase making the rant even more intense. They kept ringing the bell. Okay, drop one. I bet we can make two trips here. This is great econ investment time, although also getting the 14 so we could buy the health upgrade might be nice, but probably econ is probably econ. I am still on one gadget too. I guess we should mine a little bit more laterally. Econ's more important, I think, though. We definitely don't need um, any, like, survivability yet. Yeah, we should go Econ first. Let's go carrying capacity while we're here. I don't know if we've got the time to make it all the way down. Maybe we could do some lateral mining and then go down next time. Well, never mind. Pretty much at the edge of the... Well, we were completely at the edge to begin with, so I have wasted my time. Okay, let's head back. Should have gone to the... Okay, what, hold on. Should have gone to the left a little bit. Hey, NL, thoughts on China choosing not to disclose its GDP this year? Hey, hey NL, thoughts on Google Finance serving you um, Costco rotisserie chicken recipes in the app for some reason? Toxic fumes. Every morning, Netflix announces new ad-free model to target profile sharing. Second story, Aritzia announces higher than expected earnings per share. Third story, the ultimate green chili chilaquiles cheesecake factory copycat recipe. I think there's anything in here? We just had a mother load. Like, why am I... Like, one person in chat said left, and I'm like, oh, left, right? Well, you know what? One guy turned out to be freaking right this time. 100%. If it's not teleporter... If it's not teleporter, I think I gotta send it back, man. I don't, even with something like condenser, I guess lift or stun laser we would take as well. It's teleporter, okay? I mean, that's like, this changes our life completely.
Place the teleporter into the mother load. Which I believe was like down here. Yeah, now a seed would go the heck off, man. Okay, right there. We should carry up at least these three. Quick probe. Nothing. Okay, I'm going up. Teleporter upgrades are of the utmost importance now. Especially if we could skip never being able to teleport back and jump straight to, like, teleport resources and you can teleport yourself. It doesn't suck yet? Yeah, I know, but if I went down there and tried to grab those two iron, I'd be there for, like, 20 minutes trying to make sure... Ah, eh, whatever. Let's just have it suck already. It would be... It, I, it's not worth it, in my opinion. It's not, it's not worth it. Okay, life comes at you fast. This is a nasty wave. This is a psycho wave. We could use... Man, I'm, I'm really glad we got toxic fumes. We could use teleport pretty, pretty cheap. Or we could use teleport because it's pretty cheap. Not teleport, reflect. Sorry, my brain is temporarily broken, I guess. Okay, there you go. One of those. Teleport me down. Hmm. I'm happy with you where you are. Anything up here? You got two probes. Don't be stingy. Nothing. Nothing? Okay, maybe over. Is it too early to talk about the Peloton ride? It's too late, brother. It's too late. We, we already... We touched upon it already. It's a nice little mother load here. I think we should leave these here and then go to the surface and try, oh my god, and, and find some more water. Like, obviously, iron is okay right now. Need to find water and fast. I don't share your sense of urgency, which might be a me problem, but okay, just mine that out. That's very nice. Okay, pick me up. It's a long trip, but we got plenty of time, I think. Anything? Nothing. Okay, I'm going to connect my tunnels regardless. Did you know you're the only streamer under the Peloton tag? I've decided I don't have time, by the way. Um, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, that seems fairly obvious, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Have you ever fallen off your peloton? No, that would lead to grievous injury. You clip in. You, I, I would probably, that would shatter my ankles. I, I think my feet, I would break like every bone in my foot, I think. It would be disastrous. Seven and four. Well, we might need to save some triangles for uh, healing. Nice shot. Nice, sh really good shot. You need to get killed. You need to get out of here. Toot sweet. Thank you. It's a stationary bike. How could you break anything? Well, it's like your feet are in shoes that are that are basically screwed in um, to the bike. So if you fell off, your foot would stay like this, but your whole body would go like fold over. And I don't know about you, but my ankles, they, they do better at supporting weight above it. They don't do so great at supporting weight that's bent 90 degrees to either side. Would love to know your thoughts on this. Would love to know your thoughts on receiving a gadget. It's like 10,000 drillberts when all I need is a knife. Okay, so what do we want to see? We want to see drift or, st or uh, d lift. <laughs> Sorry, someone got me thinking about drillbert. Or stun laser. Anything going on in here, by the way? I do want to, s I just want to see because it would be beautiful to bring some water back. It's 
just take a probe over here, maybe. I've been gone a week and now lift is good. Well, like, I wouldn't say lift is good. I would say that lift is better than nothing. Um, because it, it occupies a space of nothing. It doesn't take up a capacity. That's, that's a seed? That's a seed? I did drop the gadget, didn't I? It's okay. The seed is, is incredible. The one seed. We'll go back and get it next time. Okay. Seed on triangle ASAP. Let's drop all this stuff off first. Take the seed down. That's fine. It's still As long as it's touching it, it's fine. Lift kills triangle. All right, we'll never take the... We'll never take the lift. Turns out I was right. Lift is bad. That's gonna hurt. Okay, I'm gonna heal two times. Stay frosty. That hurts. That's painful. Don't wanna talk about that one. Still, this is nice. This is some good stuff. 19? We got 19 of these? Oh... Okay, what was I thinking about getting? An uh, even better teleporter. I still respect it. Yeah, I still respect Although, you know what? Drill speed for 12. That's, that strikes me as, as viable. And I think we should just go down and get the gadget. We really want stun laser. Have you, rid have you rode with... Matt Wilpers yet. I have. Um, thing with, with Matt Wilpers, okay? His, the rides I've taken with him were very good. Um, I, I enjoy his teaching style. I've, to put it politely, I have a very different um, music taste to Matt Wilpers. I find I, our music taste does not vibe well together. Seed is on the wrong one. It's so it, it, it goes in a little... It, it gets... Don't, it's going to get it. Don't worry. Okay, we go stun laser so we don't break the... So we don't break it. Stun laser is real. Also cheap upgrades, but we do need to get some water. We could, we could one trip this one because I really don't want to come back this way. Oh, we can one trip it. Please move it just to humor us. No, please, like, honestly, like, if, if you realize that something doesn't matter, then fix your brain. <laughs> Sorry. But if you're like, I know it doesn't matter, but it bothers me. Okay, well, I know it doesn't matter and it doesn't bother me. And I'm the one using the keyboard right now. So, you know. Fix yourself. <laughs> it's not my damn problem. It's your damn problem. You're hungry? I'm not going to feed you. Go to the fridge. Dude, we have so much iron. I mean, I feel like at some point we're going to want health. At the very least, honestly, 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 I'll take two of those. Any, I, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go that far. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. Get that score up there. Anything going on here? Probably not, but we gotta we can't go too far. Okay. Reflect? Yeah, actually reflect for six is pretty good too. What do we got? We got 11. Yeah, give me some reflect. It's only six. I don't think it's as necessary with, with Javelin, but... Still nice to have it. Hey, 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 hey! Okay, very nice. Very nice. The, the Pterodactyl's not even getting... Or, the, the dive bomber's not even getting a chance to, to land on us is, uh, that's bullish in my opinion. Now, charge me. We 
We did get more drill speed recently. These are we're two tapping these. I'm thankful. Now don't be stingy. Beautiful. I think we should do some horizontal mining on this substrate. That's that's pretty rough. Let's mix it up a little. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Let's get a little deeper into the bowels and then drop one of these on you. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy. Is these are not even the resources we want, but like I'm not complaining. We really need to teleport yourself back up. Like, that's the next level of, of econ for us. But that requires water, which has been tough for us to find so far. You're right. Honestly, we, we might just want to get Electro Sword, I guess. Just like, I mean, we want things, or rather we're forced to get things that are just like iron only. Or triangle only, I suppose. Ah, but to be honest, I'd like to make my triangles go as far as possible right now. So I think that the 14 cost health upgrade is more necessary than Electro Sword. Just because we're not having that much trouble killing enemies, but... I don't know. There, I think there's, there's a lot to like about this right now, as long as we don't accidentally get ourselves killed. Clueless. Horrible shot. Absolutely, like, god-awful shooting. It's not that bad. Three cost reticle. It's like this the sanest option of all time. But I, for whatever reason, I can't allow my brain to... my Or my brain won't allow me, I guess I should say. To get a three cost aiming reticle. I'm like, dude, come on. I'll just aim better. I don't need to spend money on it. I'll just be better. Thank you. Thank you. Fix your brain. You 40 seconds ago. Wah, wah, wah. You 27 years ago, as long as we're bringing up ancient history. Absolutely beautiful. What, what a beautiful little mother load deposit here. rolled i didn't it's not rolled i was i was not trying to own somebody i was trying to use rhetorical tactics in order to present my case in the best light possible says you i don't engage in in ad hominem attacks okay come on Unlike you, I don't have to hide my logical fallacies. Unlike you. I mean, this is... You want to talk about the mother load, man. Could definitely use some drill speed. You know what? We'll teleport back and get the rest. There's no reason to get... These are not even getting teleported up there in, like, the first... In the, in the next set. Might as well just drop them off. I think next time we should... And I'm okay taking three up with me because we got to go up anyway. I think we should return to the left side next time. Oh, no. Look for some water on the edges. Uh, and then let the teleporter have like a couple rounds to digest that big meal we just gave it. I think it, we're getting so much that, to me, it just makes sense to invest in health so our triangles get better. And that's, like, that's mighty nice. Just, just spawn in a good order here. That's all I ask. I think we got it. 
I don't know. Pop up, pop up. Oh, you're in trouble. That was a great wave. Fantastic wave. Okay, very important. We get water. Thoughts on Dermot Mulroney? I got nothing against Dermot Mulroney. Um, Jack Nicholson's daughter's love interest from the Alexander Payne film about Schmidt. I have nothing. Uh, I have nothing positive nor negative to say about. Well, let me let me rephrase. I have nothing negative to say about Dermot Mulroney. Now Brian Mulroney, on the other hand, we don't need to go there, okay? Wait, this is psycho mining. Still a little psycho, but. Okay, what do we, we want to be able to teleport ourselves back. Thoughts on Paul Martin? He balanced the budget, I remember that. That was a long time ago. <laughs> um, not, I don't have many, honestly. Let's go um, teleport myself back too, thank you. Now we can at least go down here and help out, just because we got a limited amount of time. Thoughts on Paul Blart? Are you talking about the officer of the law? Oh! Get, get it twisted! We were one away! Thoughts on Fritz Lang? You mean the German director of the film Metropolis? I have none thoughts. None thoughts. Beautiful. Honestly, glad to hear it. Drop me in here. Didn't mean to mine that out. Thoughts on Chris Nolan? Love him. Know that my 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 inner snob knows that I should be more critical of him, but I I admire his uh, that he has ambition that is palatable for a general audience such as myself. Get reflected, please. Beautiful, beautiful. It's not that bad. Anyway, that's about it. Thoughts on HBO's Dome Keeper show? Bong, dude! Hey, there's one. Thoughts on James Corden? Bro, I don't... Like, here's the thing. So James Corden, he got banned from a New York restaurant for being an a-hole. I've seen so many people on Twitter that are like, Thank God, finally, James Corden's getting his, like, comeuppance. I, I, I think he's not funny, and I hate his uh, late-night television program. But, like, you don't know him. I don't know why there's, like, a bunch of, like, um... Just normal people that are that live in um, you know Cleveland that are like I have a huge grudge to like a bone to pick with James Corden. I don't know what's what's your James Corden problem, man. Like I don't know why the people are treating it as like a huge dub that a man you'll never meet got banned from a restaurant you're never gonna go to. Like it just seems uh, just seems strange to me. I don't think we're getting, I don't, I think we need drill speed before, well, I don't know. It's still pretty efficient. It, yes, it's taking us a long time to break these, but at least we're not breaking tiles that don't have squares on them in the first place. Like, that's pretty efficient. Like, it's taken us a long time, but on the bright side, the, the strikes are all, you know, hidden, hidden oil. My god, are you seeing this, dude? I think this is our pivot point. I think this is our time to invest in score. I'm actually just, I'm gonna mine out a little above just because like our drill speed's so low. Ooh, hold on. Okay, well it, We should we should go back. Oh, 
We get, you should go back a little early every time and just see how your tree's doing, too. Like, charge your probe, see how the tree's doing. It's not quite popping yet, but it did get that. What about some teleporter upgrades? Oh, I didn't, honestly, didn't know we had enough water. Uh, we don't, but we will soon. What are we on? 12? 12? A monstrous blade. <laughs> I feel like because toxic fumes lowers HP, it makes the most sense to just go for long blade and go faster. I know we do it every time, but I think that's more valuable than going fat blade, personally. Long blade just makes more sense. We should invest in score next. In fact, we should have probably invested in score there. Because we definitely don't need any... Uh, we don't need damage urgently. I honestly thought that Pterodactyl didn't stand a chance of even making it this far. Long blade's better even without mist. Now that's what I like to hear. Easiest wave of my life? I'm honestly, I, I feel like I'm still not interested in, in mining that out yet. Like, I'd rather go up a little bit. We got better drill speed up here. Oh my god, the substrate though, dude. The one piece. Look at how thick it is. You got anything for me? You do have something for me. Okay. My god. My god! Water. Very important. I, I, I mean, I went here because I thought that it would be, like, thinner, but it's not yet. But let's connect these. Water, very important for, for our teleporter, which is very important for getting more resources, which is very important for upgrading our stun laser, which is very important for upgrading our probe. Like, thank you so much. That's probably triangles because they're that close to the edge. Still good. Hey, NL, did you know Ralph Macchio is 60 years old? Quite frankly, makes a lot of sense. He was like a, a child actor in the, in the 1980s. See, the math seems to check out. I'm going to certify that as, as mathematically sound. You know what? We should just drop it in a little bit. Then we should drop this in a little bit. Then we should check our tree real quick. Okay, next a couple rounds, couple rounds maybe. Eight two five. Okay, this is a save round. Get ready. We gotta reflect this. Oh, mission failed. We'll get him next time. Ah, we didn't even take that much damage, honestly. Big plays, big player. Just wait for it, 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 wait for it. Ooh! <laughs> I think we can afford two of those right now. Deflector. You know what? While we're here. Costs too much anyway. Maybe that's a blessing. You need teleporter speed. I know. I need, and for that, I need water. There's some. There's. It, it's probably water right over here. Let's let's use burn one of these. Figure out where that thing is. It's right there. Okay. It's gonna take us a bit to get through here. That's okay. No, they don't mean teleport me faster. They mean teleport the resources faster, and I, I agree with them. 
NL, thoughts on the efficient market hypothesis and how it states that prices contain all readily available information? Well, I think that like it doesn't stand up. I, I'm, a, I'm a noted efficient market hypothesis believer. I think it doesn't stand up to the rigors of common sense. But at the same time, I think you have to acknowledge that all models are inherently imperfect. They're, they're only, um, they serve as estimations of what our uh, real world is like. So just because something is imperfect doesn't mean it's not useful, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I guess I'm going back down. We should, we should get this mother load taken care of. Thoughts on V Rising's comeback? Hey, chat, thoughts on Copium? I don't know. I, I can't imagine uh, that you saw the first V Rising stream if you think that there's a chance. Hey, they recently added uh, even more crafting elements in case that was the thing holding you back. Hey, NL, long time viewer. I feel like I got my finger on the pulse of, uh, of your interests. They've recently made the game even more complicated. Just wondering if it's if it's perceived simplicity was what was holding you back. Hold on, hold on. Tree me, tree me. Oh, <laughs> Next time. Upgrade the portal. Okay, I didn't think that it was ready. I didn't think we had the I didn't think we had the resources or the elbow grease, but it turns out we do. And I honestly, you know, we know, I, I, bigger area is not that important, I think, right now. I would love to get a stun laser popping. I would love to have it do uh, last longer for now. Let's start there. We're just chilling. Just waiting. When all enemies come from the same side, I'm not sweating it, I'm sweating it. <laughs> I've started to sweat it. Let's land this shot real quick. Toxic fumes, man. Toxic fumes. Very nice. Okay, probe me. I wonder how many of us are working right now with NL on in the background. Here's the thing. Even leisure... And save your plus twos, okay? Even leisure is labor. So I think if you're watching me right now, even if you're not at a quote-unquote job, then you, as far as I'm concerned, you're working. Minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two. One of the most minus twos I've ever seen. Okay. I just, it was one of those things that sounded smart in my head. And as a result, I thought that it would, it would excite chat. And clearly that's not the case. I apologize. I, I, you know what? I, you're keeping me guessing. Thoughts on the Mori show? Goaded show to watch when you're homesick from school, when you're still too young to, or society's in a place where you're unconcerned with the ethical implications of how exploitative it is. That lot, watched a ton of Mori as a kid, for sure. Great show! Great sh and then you, when you turn like, I don't know, like in your early 20s, you gotta be like, oh, this show makes me feel like a little gross to watch. Were you a Price is Right viewer when sick? 100%. 100%. Tree me? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 19 of these, two waters. You know what? It's an early investment in even more um, laser quality, I would say. We have so many resources coming up. I'm throwing some more. <sighs> It, oh, maybe drill speed. Maybe get some drill speed real quick. We, we can get it next wave.
What about multiplier? I guess we are on six triangles. It's a good point. I would even, honestly, I would take two multipliers there. Not yet. Don't resist the temptation. Pop it now. Give yourself a chance. Number one most important thing for us right now is is maximizing the the toxic fumes pop. Thoughts on purchasing the reticle? You know what? It's three. That's a very good point. Very sane, very sane take. Come on, come on. Overcharge, overcharge wither, that's true. That's gonna help out a lot too. Okay, we're not in desperate need of triangles, so we don't need to go close to the edge, round by the corner. We could stay over here, get drill speed at the end of this wave. Wither, I barely know her. Excuse me, it, uh, around here we say Withering End. It's a reference to Super Troopers, a movie I genuinely don't really like. But I know that chat likes it, so as a result, I say it. Minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two. I mean, I got nothing against Super Troopers, except that I... And this, I hate when people use this criticism, so I'm, I'm using this with some self-awareness, but I think it's just overrated. That's not necessarily a knock on the quality of the movie itself, it's more of a knock on the fact that it was considered... I, I, I felt like it was unjustifiably considered one of the classic comedies of the 2000s. I feel like it's like a 5 out of 10. And I feel that way about a few comedy films. Like, um, I mean, I honestly don't think Step Brothers is that good either. I feel like Step Brothers is like also like a 5 out of 10. It's not my favorite Will Ferrell, Adam McKay joint. That would definitely be Holmes and Watson, I would say. Um, if, I, if I was forced to choose between some of my favorite films, I would say Holmes and Watson probably is, is, is definitely high on the list. But I, I actually liked, um, I think Beer Fest is better. And I, well, I was going to say I like the Slam and Salmon, but I don't think that's true. I think I just like Michael Clark Duncan. It's a plus two. What about the big short? Excuse me, um, Will Ferrell's not in the big short. Personally, and that's one of the, the main flaws that I have, that's why I consider the big short to be maybe like a 2 out of 10. Will Ferrell should have played like Ben Bernanke in that movie. I think if they had had Will Ferrell as, um, as, as Ben Bernanke, and then maybe like Adam Scott as, uh, as Paul Krugman, then it's not glancing. I have to get back to the surface, you fools. We'll go get the we'll get the triangle next time. We don't need the triangle immediately, probably. We gotta get to the surface so we don't die. Drill speed, you know what? We got twelve left. Let me get a bigger shield. Might as well. Reticle! <laughs> You don't need it yet. You don't need it yet. Don't get seduced into popping your wither before the pterodactyl spawn. That never should have hit me. Never should have. I, it, like, I, I actually take issue with it. I feel like it, it never should have hit me. How could it hit me? How can she slap? Okay, this is, this is Hellwave. And even it is not that bad. Stun laser, please. Well, it could have been better, but it definitely could have been worse, too. Okay, we can almost move the teleporter. It's finally digested that huge lunch. One, it's a little uh, insulting. 
to give me simply one water. Oh, man. The most precious resource ev ever invented. The doubters are back. I'm just here to tell you, if you doubted like 500, you're in trouble. If you doubted, like, if you're going to doubt a thousand, we'll see about that, but. We got plenty of time for now. Well, this is where we're going to move. Oh my God. This is where we're going to move this thing to next, without a doubt. So we're not worried about moving the teleporter yet. Give it a chance to, to suck it up. Give it a chance to digest. Build it a nice little hole to sit in. Drop this down for now. Head back to the surface. Check your tree. If you get a chance, you may not get a chance. But if you get a chance, you could check that tree. Lower this just ever so slightly. Sixteen, four, and three. Hmm. Sixteen, four, and three. Sixteen, four, and three. Well, this is gadget upgrades. I don't th really think teleport area is as important as like um, like stun laser being a little bit better. Let's go for more damage for now because we got the exact count for water. You need to pop it. The pterodactyls have to die before they can show up. You don't, I, me personally, I don't want to put myself in a position where I have to hit every pterodactyl. That was an incredible wave. That was an unbelievable wave. You should always prioritize checking the tree. Does it really have a one wave cooldown? I thought it I thought it had like a three wave cooldown. If it's a one wave, then that's like a gimme, but it's three waves, okay. It's three right now. Okay. Then don't worry, Chatter. Apology accepted. Chatter who said you have to check it every single wave. I would like to say I, I would like to say apology accepted. I apologize sincerely. You don't need to apologize. I've already accepted your apology, but thank you. That means a lot to me. Resources have different rates. Okay, and what's the rate of, uh, of triangles? Every three waves? Okay. Chatter 2, I accept your apology as well. Thank you. I apologize on behalf of that chatter. You don't have to. I've already accepted the apology implicitly. We've already debited your accounts with the necessary amount of apologies. Loot me. I want to get drill speed, man. I honestly, we should spend some time like a little closer to the surface up here. Rude. Insanely rude. Never mind, that's kind of sick. <laughs> Is he deaf? Okay, don't worry, chatter. Apology accepted. Kind of a messed up thing to say. My word, you seeing this? Now I would actually like, oh my god, we have 24. <laughs> so, I think we should get drill speed, we should get long blade, like we should max our upgrades, and then iron is like really easy to find at this point. Then we can start pumping up the iron, um, like the, the Y intercept on this run for sure. My god.
<clears throat> I don't apologize. Apology accepted for your... Here's the thing, it's not your fault. If I was your mother, you would not have that kind of toxic masculinity. I still, I feel like the longer we can hold off on, on Wither, the happier we're gonna be. Obviously we got, you know what? It could still be true. Could still be true. And if I was your husband, I would drink it. So true. It wasn't even that bad. Probe me. Pass me. We do want the overcharge as well. Yeah, this substrate, man. Yuck. Okay, let's go up here. And if my grandma had wheels, she'd be a bicycle? Yeah, she'd be the village. They call her the village bicycle because everybody gets a ride. <laughs> oh, man. Austin Powers. Oh, okay. Uh, I, dude, we should get memory probe. I think it's just it's quality of life. Like, I, I completely forgot where that was. It's a pretty nice mother load in and of itself, honestly. Big probe is better. Yeah, but I think it's like it's one of those things where like, um, you know, it's the same way people say like NL, cancel your Peloton subscription. There's easier ways to, you know, have good exercise biking. And I'm like, yeah, like I'm overpaying, but also I'm in like the best cardiovascular shape of my life. And they're like, yeah, but that's not important. What's important is you could save $20 a month and, and get kind of tubby again. Doesn't that interest you? I think that, you know, I think a memory probe for, for some quality of life might actually be like a positive thing. It might not be the most efficient, but like if, if it ticks up the resource counter in a certain way, then, uh, then it makes me feel something, you know? You can do both? Oh, all right. Well, it's a false dilemma then. You're absolutely right. Or people being like, the Sicilian dragon is actually better when you're 500 elo in chess. Dude, I, I know I've said it many times before. People are built differently these days. Like, 900 elo chess players are built differently these days. They're like, mm, I've, I've been a lifelong London defense player. I've recently considered trying to play the modern defense. What are your thoughts on this? My thoughts on this are you have four blunders a game. Like, focus up a little bit. Sorry, that was that was needlessly rude, but <laughs> but true. But true. You know what? This is very cheap and will be very helpful for us. I respect that. And then I do I might as well long blade, I think. And then still we I'm not going to get score until we get all the multiply or all the upgrades we're looking for right now. We still simmer on the wither a little bit. Now we wither. Might need the heal. Just chill. Just just relax yourself a little bit. Wasn't even that bad. No, I'm such a fool for you. You've got me using my wither, dear. Come on, come on! We should have just gone down. Should have just gone down. Should have just gone down. Hit me, come on, hit me. You're right, that's the perfect tree checking opportunity. Would you la rather live in a world without cranberries or a world without the cranberries? I mean, I guess, like, I don't mind living in a world without cranberries, the fruit. I, I like cranberries okay, but, like, the band is pretty good. And also, like, it consists of, like, real people. So I don't know what kind of implications it would have if I said 
the cranberries. Like, I guess we should, like, let's avoid making it, like, a moral argument. We probably shouldn't say, like, oh, I believe that, like, I shouldn't take actions that result in loss of life. So as a result, I'm going to say cranberries instead of the cranberries. Because that makes the, it kind of is, like, skirting the question. I don't know. I got to, we got to think about it a little bit. The lead singer is dead, so don't worry. Yeah, what about, like, the bassist? <laughs> what, what, what about everybody else in the band? What the, hell, what the hell is wrong with you, man? Well, I don't really care because the singer's already dead. What is wrong with you? Honestly, I think the bassist... I, I've said this before when I was talking, like, ad nauseum about Alanis Morissette. I think I'm, I'm like Megan Trainer, man, for real. I'm all about that bass. You know what makes a, a, a song go from like a 6 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10? An 8 out of 10 bass part. Holy cow. The math doesn't add up. It's the economy, stupid. Drop him. Drop him. Okay, we'll catch him next time. Where's my teleporter? Chat, where's my teleporter? Okay, there it is. Sorry, got a little scared there. Just got a little scared. <laughs> Thirty-seven. Oh my god. Well, let's go sword. We got seven remaining. I would like the next level of drill speed next. Okay. Damn, this dome ain't looking so hot. Was this like your first day watching the game? This is actually like an exceptional run right now. Guy who's a little bit hungry. I'm starving to death. Nice try. Okay, now you may have had some points. You know, I may have been a little hasty in my in my hubris. When you got food in your pantry, you ain't starving, brother. You're just hungry. Well, that wasn't even that bad. We used like two triangles. That was so close. What are you what are you even talking about? We just got our redemption like right there. We we got our refund right there. Three triangles? Whatever. Same difference. I'm crazy. I just walked over here. People are so scared these days. When does society get so soft? It reminds me of this podcast I've been listening to. Podcast is called if this bothers you, um, just... Oh, I forgot about the mother load. Yeah. If this bothers you, just turn it off, idiot. It's my favorite show uh, in, the, in the whole wide world. I don't know if you guys have been listening to it. Um, the, the, the show is all about, like... It's like these five guys. They don't take any shit. And if anyone ever insults them on the internet, I spend the rest of my night um, defending them in the comments with my max headroom avatar okay drop these down there thing is society got too soft like people are so offended these days that being said if anyone ever insults my favorite podcast host honey i'm sorry i know i said i was going to bed early tonight i know it's our anniversary The one trip. I'm like, I, I want to move these so that we can then move our teleporter over here next time. Sane. Sane. We know the tree's not ready. 23 of those, okay. 
You know what? I think I'd like an even bigger shield size because it's going to save us some triangles. I'm ready. Look at this thing. It's going... Bzzz. It's going like... Bzzz. I'm ready. Stun laser's got all this under control. Just kidding. There's a lot of fools there. You know I'm such a fool for you. Get it! Get it! No wither yet. It's not necessary yet. Now it's necessary. Help me stun laser! Could be worse. Can you describe what peanuts taste like? At the risk of like, I don't know if I'm being baited here or whatever. Um, I feel like it's hard to describe what anything tastes like. Like some things, you, unless something is like salty or sweet or sour or bitter, it's hard to describe the taste of something. It's one of the hard, it's probably the hardest sense to describe. The words and the concepts that we have are, are not sophisticated enough. Drop them all. For the, uh, for the amount of variation. What's, what is this weird... Con did, 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 I'm sorry, it's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault you were born in 2001. What the hell is this comment even supposed to mean? Umami exists. NL, as a noted umami enjoyer, I'm feeling a little, it's a little sus that you haven't mentioned umami. Everybody loves umami, okay? It's everybody's uh, favorite flavor because we all learned about it uh, in school and we're like, whoa, umami, that sounds strange. It's like how every, whenever you ask uh, in French class how you're feeling, some people say ça va bien, nobody says ça va mal, ça va mal, sorry, I, was, I put the Midwestern accent on it. 90% um, of the kids in your class say, comme si, comme ça, you know why? Because it's the most fun to say. I'm not forgetting about umami. I'm just sick of hearing about it. Like, you, umami gets so much play in the press relative to the... relative to the rest of the five tastes combined. It's too much, man. It's, it's, it's simply too much. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, okay, that's a one-time... I don't even know how to handle that right now. I'm a little lost, but I feel like if I just make my way back down here, we'll be okay. What am I doing with this teleporter? How, how am I supposed to use this teleporter effectively? Don't lie to me, Walt. Wow, you sucked them all up already. I'll take it next time. I, I was, I got a little scared this time. I got a little scared. We gotta make sure we're here in time. We check this. Turns out we had time. We can at least charge our probe. New casino! So true! So true! I will say, though, we're supposed to pivot to the sponsor stream in like 15 minutes. So we might just chill on the casino a little bit for now. Let me choose prediction and, and at least pay it out. Odds of me surviving this if I have to come back to it, though, are pretty low. We might just say no casino for now and maybe I'll stretch it a little bit. I can stretch it another 50, 30, 30 minutes, something like that. I can try. We do want drill speed. I think drill speed is going to be more important. Let's, let's simmer on this. Okay, sit me. Or casino and ship out. I don't, I don't play this game to get my second highest score ever, okay? It's a weak mentality. I'm trying to embody the, the Mamba mentality. Mm. 
we do want to see like automatic overcharge. I know we can't get it. That's I guess it's a mark of good game design. You always feel like you're missing something. I can't get a condenser, so now I'm like, oh man, this run could really use a condenser. So we want drill speed. That's about it, honestly. And then we can start pumping that Y intercept up a little bit. Those are rookie numbers. Is 1,090 good for a non-teleporter run? I'd say that's a that's a damn good score, in my in my opinion. Right, we're on the edge here. We should move to the, the side then. That's way too thick. Move over this way. Is Kate going to play again today? Honestly, it's up to her. Um, I, I've only just now heard her return from getting some groceries. So it's... it's uh, if she wants to, she's more than welcome to. Let's be honest. I could really use the help. Not, this is not great. Okay, take me weaker substrate and stay weak. And then... That's, I would say, bullish. I'm going to call bullish on this one. First thing we should do is bring the teleporter over. Oh right, I gotta I gotta pick up the one time use teleporter too. Maybe maybe next time we go up for the fruit. But I'm like, what do I need a one time use teleporter for? I guess I don't get it. But it doesn't mean, doesn't mean it's bad. It just means I don't understand it. There's many things I don't understand that are good. Like apparently, like Darren Aronofsky movies. Take me up. Yeah, who's your favorite minion? Is it Darren, Aaron, or Ovsky? I've all I'm a pretty straight laced guy. I usually I'm just like a Darren guy. I remember <laughs> it's one of my favorite champions of fire memories. Owens. When they had to do the ad read for Minions, this, sorry, Despicable Me, Minions Rush. I wouldn't want to get the name of the game wrong. And they kept, like, it, through no fault of their own, they kept screwing up the ad read and having to, like, re record it. All your favorite minions, such as Sherry, Gary, and Larry. All your favorite, featuring all your favorite minions from Despicable Me. Gary, Sherry, and Kevin. Featuring all like they had to do like 70 takes. It was it was Broncos Country Let's Ride. Owens. But it was good. Hold on. We have nine triangulars. Let me get uh let me heal like two times and let me toss two of them in there. Gaining 50 per wave right now. Kind of insane with it, kind of sick with it. I've never seen any of the Minion films, by the way. I haven't seen Despicable Me, I haven't seen Minions, I haven't seen The Rise of Gru, I haven't seen The Fall of Gru. I haven't seen any of them yet, but I'm, I'm honestly pretty confident that at some point I'm going to make up for lost time. You will one day. Oh, I'm sure, brother. I am sure. No, I've not seen the lateral movement of Gru. I have not... S the Gru can stay uh, irrational longer than you can stay solvent. I have seen Boss Baby, though. Hello? There was another one. I don't know where it went. Oh, two water. How was Boss Baby? Baffling. <laughs> I, I know I've, uh, I've said this before. 
Boss Baby is not about a baby who has like traits of a, of, of a CEO. Boss Baby is about a baby that was sent by a company called Baby Corp to wage uh, war on the... Apparently there's an ever-expanding conflict between puppies and babies. To see who can get the more, the higher percentage of the finite amount of love that human beings have to give. Um, so the, the boss baby is actually, he's like, he has the intelligence of a middle-aged adult. But he is, like, avatared into the, the body of a baby in order to help babies get their fair share of love. Because uh, the inventor of Puppy Corp has invented a dog that never grows old. It threatens to take too much of the love, all of the love, really, that adults have to give. Um, so they need to stop the, the infinity puppy from being created. Um, but at the same time, the boss baby himself... This is true. I, I swear to you, none of this is a lie. The boss baby himself, over time, learns to... Um, Appreciate the value of being a baby. Appreciate the value of, of family. And at the end of the movie, even though I believe he gets promoted to be like essentially a, a C-level executive of Baby Corp, because spoilers, they succeed, um, he chooses to resign his position and then go back and just be a normal baby. Just be a normal... because he Because he realized that family was really the most important thing of all. So Boss Baby's kind of like insane. Certainly one of the, the most bizarre pieces of, of media, like, ever created. Does he learn to work the saxophone? Does he play just what he feels? He does not drink scotch whiskey all night long, I'll tell you that much. You know why? Because he's a baby. Duh. Okay. Laser. 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 And then... Heavy into raising the y-intercept and we raise the the slope as is as is allowable why am i i'm tunnel visioning on a, a weak enemy here not sensible not sane it's not wither time yet it's wither time I'm not crying yet I can't believe that didn't kill you. We're okay. Is this the end? The honest question. We've been on the run for three hours. How, how is this your first minute watching Dome Keeper? It, it just doesn't make sense. Grab the portal. No, I'm getting more resources for now, okay? I'm a I'm a resource-driven economy right now. Next time we get the fruit by accident, we'll get the teleporter as well, if we're in the vicinity. None? With left beef? None minerals? Left less beef? My word, okay? Now this is beautiful. You just remember you got something over there. Let's bring the teleporter back. I mean, I'll tell you, a thousand is coming. Are you gonna play the Marvel XCOM when it comes out? I think I will. I mean, that's one of... I'm, I don't get excited for many games these days. It's not even that it's... I know you're going to think that this is me just running defense for myself. It's not even that it's Marvel. It's that uh, it's that it's X, an X, a real XCOM game from Firaxis. I am, I am interested. And plus, it's got, like, deck-building elements, right? It's, at the very least, it's interesting. So I, I intend to play it. It's going to be a hard one for chat, though, because they're going to have to choose whether they're excited for the return of, like, an XCOM-type game or if they're going to bat chess because it's Marvel or if they're going to do both, which is probably... I, I bet it's going to be both, but which is fine, by the way.
take me up tonight. They should make a bat chest, but serious. Yeah, for when you're like actually really excited about something. But that would require someone on the internet to admit to experiencing a genuine emotion that isn't anger. And I, I don't know if the I don't know if the, the climate is ready for that right now. No water yet. No water. No water. Okay. Well you know what? Then I'm going I'm going for one of those and I'm I'm healing one time just to just to stay a little safe. What a shot. That's huge. No wither me. No wither me. You don't need the wither just yet. It's gonna get worse. Okay, now wither me. Some of the finest target selection I've ever known. Did you see that? That was, uh, that took some maturity to hold the wither until the, the moment when it mattered the most. Oh, man. I just, that's, that's just for me, honestly. Now that was some good stuff. I'm so happy we got that triangle tree, man. Doing the things a triangle can. They have a fight. Triangle wins. Triangle tree. Oh, you know what? You're right. There was something on the right up here. There you go. Are you going to play uh, Scorn? I'm sorry to report that Germa has already done it. As a result of uh, constantly being on the defensive for being accused of being a Germa clone. Contractually obligated to not play Scorn. Plus, I'm really bad at puzzle games and shooters and... Uh, horror games. So as a result, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I just, I'm, I don't think it's my tempo. I think it's not quite my tempo. We need to go to the surface and use the repellent. It looks, I mean, the design of the game looks extremely cool. There's no denying that. Sorry to inform you, there's lots of questions in chat, all of which I cannot see because it's moving too fast. Because I'm, I said Germa. Everybody's like, holy cow, this is my time. Thank you. Dude, I, you want to see the most ruthless thing I've ever seen in a Twitch chat? I, I was watching Chib play a little Overwatch 2 yesterday. Um, one of his mods in chat typed, Germa's live, people leave. A mod... I mean, I'm used to a little bit of taking some abuse from the mods here, but like, I thought that was like a me thing. That's brutal, man. It, it really do be your own sometimes. <laughs> Did he react? No, every, every neuron of Chib was saturated with, with dopamine yesterday. He was, he was playing Overwatch 2, which is already sensory overload, with like, um, uh, music, nightcore, like gamer EDM blasting in the background, plus uh, like a little deep fried overlay over top of his stream, plus a PNG tuber smoking a cigarette. By the way, I'm not mad at Mouth, okay? But Mouth had the audacity to have his camera break. Why, why does that affect you, NL? Why does that affect you? Because it's the camera that he told me to buy in order to, you know what, we want overcharge. It's the camera he told me to buy to do face cam. So now I, I know that I'm on damn, uh, I'm on borrowed time, right? 
I don't know how much longer my, my Sony's gonna hold out for. That's not how technology works. Nobody knows how technology works. That's not how the force works. Bro, this can't be possible. A, a wave where we don't even have to use Wither? I, I don't buy it. I, I think I should have stalled even longer. I got I got loss aversion. I was like, I don't want to take any damage with a Wither in my pocket. But like... I think we might have popped a step, a step too soon. Never mind. I think we're fine. Eighty points per wave. That's kind of amazing. I don't think so. Whew. Thoughts on Nick Cage being cast in an Ari Aster movie? My my thought is. My thought is I'm pogging. You could you could tell me O.J. Simpson got cast in a in an Ari Aster movie, and I would be like, you know what? I trust him. He he. He's earned, not OJ, to be clear, Ari Aster, he's earned the right to make some bold cases, okay? To make some bold decisions. Until he messes one up, I'm not going to be, like, hypercritical. I didn't say OJ's earned the right. Ari Aster has earned the right, okay? Would love to know your thoughts on this. You know what we should do? We should actually just, like, build a new tunnel down here. Oh my god. Look at that. And this one, it's got a shot. I am realizing we're going to have to put this run on pause halfway through. And that's a scary thought for me because returning to it is going to be like disastrous. <laughs> that's going to be the, the scariest moment of all. It's like how most of the accidents in cars happen not in the morning or the evening, but at sunset when the lights change. Or when the, when the sun, when the amount of available light changes. But that's also when the dragons in Reign of Fire have their poorest vision as well. Which is what allowed Matthew McConaughey and, uh, and Christian Bale to kill the, the mother dragon in the movie and thus restore London to its former glory. Quinn, so do fellow Rain of Fire enjoyers here, Quinn, use it. We have eleven triangles. We're, I mean, we're definitely pumping. I would say pumping. I would even pump it one more time, and then I would say let's heal once just to just to feel something. Then we got eighteen of these. I don't really think we need drill speed. I think a longer repellent makes a lot of sense. As does, like, better overcharge rate. Let's overcharge after we finish this wave. This sounds, this sounds like it makes sense to me. Is auto heal worth it? I mean, the thing with auto heal, I just don't think there's many waves where you lose 60% of your HP. So I think, like, for the most part, my, and I could be wrong, for the most part, I think you're just better off just, like, manually healing damage that comes in piecemeal instead of trying to, you know, get something for nothing with the auto heal. But I could just be wrong, I'll admit. By the way, this is a bit of a nightmare wave. I'm something of a nightmare wave myself. Like, it's, talk about comedic timing. Might have actually, this might have been like the perfect wave to have it. Okay. You gotta go. Stun laser, please. It actually was not even that bad. 
And our score is popping, man. Witherless? Excuse me, I used I used my mist on that one. Oh, and I meant to, oh no, we'll, we'll do it after we pop it, it's okay. Sponsor time? Who are you, David? Are you David? We'll do this wave, then we'll then we'll pivot, okay? I was laughing. I, I I ribbed David over when he typed in chat. It's time to do the disclosure for the sponsored stream. He typed it all in. I think he was a little embarrassed. It was very funny. To me, it, it really shouldn't be funny to you. Now that I think about it, it's one of those things you sort of had to be there. You sort of had to... You have to be in the business, I guess, to understand it. You don't. That's true. You don't know David on the same level that I do, I suppose. And honestly, you should you should feel bad about that. He's a good guy. What am I even looking for? We really, okay. Iron is not in a shortage. So toss me some of that, and then send me down. Who are David and Josh? What are you, my therapist? You talk a lot about these uh, these David and Josh characters. You say they're real people, then. Are they in the room with us right now? Damn, dude, this is this is thick. It's a thick substrate. I like them, round, thick, and juicy. Can't remember who originally said that. I think it was Sir Mix a lot. Ooh, and okay, we got one over there, one over there. Can you remember that one for me, Chad? NL, do you go to therapy? No, can I tell you why? Um, I get paid to talk. I don't think I can reasonably force myself to change my way of thinking about it uh, to paying someone to let me talk. That doesn't seem right. Most of the time, when I open my mouth, that's how I generate some revenue. Now, every time I open my mouth just to talk to uh, a, a so-called doctor, I have to give you $300? That doesn't seem right. How does, it, does this seem sensible to you? It seems a little backwards to me, personally. You're saying Chad is your therapist? Yeah, is, do you think there's something wrong with that? <laughs> I was laughing. I don't know if anybody else is in the same boat. I was laughing when I was watching The Mole last night. And uh, Avery said, I've taken some psychology classes in college, so I'm trained to know when people are lying. VIP Daniel, are you here? Did you catch that one? As someone who was one credit away from minoring in psychology and then... Uh, decided that it wasn't worth getting the credit just to get a minor um, because it's psychology. <laughs> I, I was like, I, I question your, your, I question your, uh, your statement there, Avery. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going back up. Do you empathize with Avery because she's a streamer too? No, I empathize with Avery because I'm a human being. Not Sean Avery. Oh no! Oh! Frame perfect? These waves are getting long, man. Okay, this is wither time. I think we gotta pop two of these. Battle, wither. Land some shots. Land some shots. Gabriel land some shots, captain of the Colorado Avalanche. This is no big deal, man. It's no big deal. Wow, that was really good. Okay. 
We're going to pause this one just for now, okay? Slash marker. That's Dome Keeper 1. All right, we are back and we're ready to go with Dome Keeper. Did I, I did add that update? Yeah, we'll take the overlay off and we'll continue. Do not under any circumstances hit new game. We completed our wave. Now I remember, we were we were on for the mother load here, man. Like look at, <laughs> I forgot about this part. Look at what we got going on there. A staggering amount of resources. One of the finest resources the world has ever seen. We got double probe. We've got like a, a nearly fully upgraded teleporter. It is taking us a very long time to mine. Now there's nothing in the general vicinity here. That's very unfortunate. I know you're like, your drill's so slow. You don't even understand how deep we are right now. Well, I'm not using a probe if we got the mother load right here. There is a one-way portal, but I don't know. I'm just like, just because we have a teleporter doesn't mean I'm going to use it, you know? Like, just because the Olive Garden gives you free bread, it doesn't mean you got to eat it if you're already full and it's just going to give you a, a, a tummy ache. Like, I feel like for right now, having that second teleporter, I guess I can see the utility in that we could have, like, two different places we could teleport to. Okay, that's a good point. I thought about it for literally half a second and came to the realization that there's some goodness. Hey, have you noticed the wave timer is not ticking down? <laughs> this happens when you reload? Well, that should only take a second to fix. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Teleport me back to base. It'll start going down in a few seconds. Oh, there it goes. Well, we got we got some. This, you're right. That's an insane buff to the repellent. <laughs> I forgot to mention. Yeah, in case you're just joining us on Twitch, we also have a um, we also have a triangle tree. It's only got one, but that's still pretty good. Helps out for for. Survival helps out for uh, multiplier expansion. I'm dropping. I'm dropping. I can only really take you down that far, and I'm okay with that. Take me back up to the surface. Hit your repellent, please. Oh, took, took too long to teleport. Let me look at my upgrades. We're just 10 2 2. I think we simmer. Let's simmer on that one. Although, overcharge battle ability duration would be nice next time. Okay. Just remember, like, this is our first fight in a while. Remember your abilities. Remember, remember your withering. No needless throwing. Perfect waves are an illusion. But no needless throwing. Make it... Stun laser! Stun laser could have gotten us there. We're still fighting? Oh, you're still alive. Okay. It wasn't that bad. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. Oh, right, the camera! Had it in the wrong position. Thank you, thank you. Back up here. Let me look at something for a second. Oh, hold on. I forgot. We had, we had other stuff to do. Four and two for this. I would honestly rather do it. And then we can't overcharge, but I trust it. How are we doing on the triangle here? It's ready to go. Let me take a look. We got three triangles. I'll take one heal and simmer. This is absurd. Now, I don't think there's anything, like, up here. I think we would have... Well, I don't know. Maybe there will be. Maybe I haven't probed here. Triangles. Where is, I don't see the other one. My monitor's too small. I, I'm playing this in 480 by 360. I don't see it. Okay, water. 
Water is not that relevant. But it's nice to have. We could always use it to expand our score. That's, uh, you know what? You're right. Water is... Uh, it is teleporter juice. Or uh, overcharge juice, I should say. It was up and to the right, I think. Oh! Three, 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 one of them. Are you, are you crazy? I just walked over here. Nothing. Okay, I'm going up a little further. Don't forget the triangle tree. My brother in Christ, we, uh, we picked the fruit of the triangle tree not but 90 seconds ago. You have nothing to fear. Jimmy, you have nothing to fear. Okay, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, how about you worry about your triangle tree? He's watching Better Call Saul. I'm just watching a lot of cameo, honestly. I forgot about all this. Holy. Kate, are you seeing this? Are you seeing what we got going on here? Look at this. And The Mole. Yes, I've been watching some of uh, Netflix's The Mole as well. <laughs> Look at the tube. Oh, man. Look at the tube, man. My word. Who's your guest for the mole? I feel like there's no way it's not Kazi. I feel like I, this is, I, I don't think we should get in the habit of judging people based on their performance on a TV show. But I feel like Joy is just insane without being um, needlessly rude. I don't know if you've seen the show, but I feel like she's... She plays the mole like I play Among Us. Which is to say, I'm just like, I don't know, let's just, let's just cause some problems. Let's just cause some chaos. Like they're doing an escape room. They only have 60 minutes to do it. She's in her room just lying to people and then doing push-ups. But I don't think she's the mole. I think she's just, she's off on her own... She's doing her own thing right now, and I love that for her. Yeah, she she did take um, eighty percent of the of the prize pool just to get one exemption. That's true. She, like, I think she's just a little, I think she's just a little troll with it. And I, honestly, I'm for it. I I love that for her. I'm gonna overcharge my repellent real quick. I mean, we should buy like every upgrade available. Like, I don't think there's any reason we shouldn't have. Better reflect speed, for sure. Dom was stunned. Dom Cruise, baby! I have a sneaking suspicion... Okay, again, these are spoilers. I have a sneaking suspicion. They fabricated a way to get Dom back into the game. Or at least a chance for Dom to get back into the game. Because they thought that he was going to be the main character that everybody in the audience loved. Because he says Dom Cruise, baby. So I think when Dom ran into some trouble, they said, what are we going to do? No, everybody loves Dom. When Dom's not on the screen, they should be asking, what do we do? They should be, sorry, they should be asking, where's Dom? Where's Dom? I don't know that for certain. That's just my insane... Are we done? That's just my insane theory. That's just my game theory. <clears throat> What's your preferred um, bread? I'm a sourdough man. I'm also a sourdough man myself. I love a sourdough bread. There, can I tell you? It's not that sour, though. It's just, they really, like, it's dough, yes. Sour, not so much. Which is fine. Like, it's not like I want a sourer bread. 
I do just, I, I think it goes crazy when people are like, oh, I don't like sour though. It tastes too sour for me. I'm like, brother, you're not even tasting the bread. You're tasting the name. Two, plus two, plus two. I love arguing with a guy I make up in my head who's not even here to defend himself. It's perfect. Um, water? Th thank you? Water? Like the, the most pivotal resource right now for overcharging at least? Whoops, not that way. You should come to Germany. We got the best bread on the planet, especially sour though. You know what? I am, when we did those European food quizzes, I'm like, I want to go to Germany for the cuisine, man. For the culture, but also for the cuisine. I love sausage. I love beer. I love bread. I love um, putting so much butter on my bread that when you bite into it, you can see your dental x-rays. You can, you can see an imprint of your jaw. I love it. Uh, overcharge me, please. Oh, I got no water. <laughs> I love it all. I love pickled fish soups. Well, okay. But we'll lead us to kings. Look, you can get good bread in North America. It's not the default, but you can definitely get good bread in North America. It's not all, like, just wonder bread. But I will say, like, that is, like... People here, and your, you know, tastes are different depending on where you are. But people in North America have like a Stockholm syndrome about their bread. If you tell them like, hey, instead of going to like an, instead of buying Wonder Bread, that basically like as soon as you bite into it, it gets flattened out to like one nanometer thick and just soaks up all the ketchup you put on your bologna sandwich. Um, people are like, yeah, but why would I pay a dollar fifty for a good loaf of bread when I could keep paying a dollar for pure garbage? Like they'll say insane stuff like that that I'm basically just making up in my head. If I started buying good bread, what's next? Respecting myself? I don't know, man. Seems like a slippery slope. Teleporters doing nothing for you. L literally, I say this with offense intended. W I'm honored to have the worst Domekeeper player of all time in my chat right now. Okay, now I will say I'm worried. I'm not worried about the teleporter. I am a little worried about the Unity game engine. I'm not sure if it can handle the amount of compression we got going on here. Oh, that's right. It's Godot. It's Gal Gadot. We're fine. Zip, zip. Don't even need it. Overcharge me. They did get some water. Thank you so much for the water. Your water saved me. Um, I think we should, I don't know, even faster reflect. We have been taking some damage lately. More heals? I'd prefer not to have to use them. Because we could always try to escape instead. Man, we were just wasting time here. If you're making like a grilled cheese sandwich, I understand the, the compulsion to, to go with the Wonder Bread, okay? I've decided I'm going to use my heels. I've got faith. Good time to that must have been a good wither because it like broke the audio. What a shot. If you're making sandwiches for like a kid's lunch, or like if genuinely, if you've sampled the rest, or if you've sampled the best and you want the rest, then don't let me tell you, like if you're an adult and you're scanning your brain and you're like, I actually like Wonder Bread the most, then honestly, more power to you. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like, your own tastes are not valid.
But if you're like, if you just have an aversion to trying some like better bread, then I just, I got a question like, what's, what's wrong? What's going on? I will also say like, and, and this is where I'm going to get myself into some trouble. Wonder Bread takes like a, it, it gets a bad rap. Um, and it, deservedly, because it's not very good. Um, but a lot of the other store-bought breads that people are like, yeah, don't buy Bunder Bread, buy like uh, Ditaliano. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Those are also like ass. They're just like slightly less ass. Even like, I don't, I hate to be this guy. Even like the Dave's Power Bread and stuff like that, like, we, we've been getting it to make toast and grilled cheese for our daughter and stuff like that. It's just, it's, it doesn't compete with a, with a fresh baked loaf. And you could either, like, I'm not willing to bake it myself. It's too much time investment for me right now. But you could go to a bakery or at least get the bread at your grocery store that comes from a bakery. Like, it, it really makes a huge difference. I'm getting a lot of plus twos here. Dave's is not bad, though. I mean, I'm not... It's Look, the stuff that comes... And it's not even like a hipster thing. It just is... It's not that it's like a worse ingredients or whatever. It's something about like the... The industrial baking process followed by the transportation just makes like all of that like macro-made bread taste like, uh, like paper. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay, I actually think we got time to fly to the surface. Let's take these triangles up. We really, I think we need to do a couple save rounds and we need like water to... I'm lost. I'm going to the bottom. I'm stuck in my mind. Not like this. Not like this, please. Chat, where am I? I should have just dug up. Teleporter? What do you think I'm looking for? Okay, hmm. hold on. See me? How, how we doing on points? None? Is our teleporter bug? Teleporter is no longer teleporting. That seems bad. I missed. Gotta pop it. Faded. 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 Someone explain to me. Can someone make it make sense? Why is my teleporter not teleporting? Is it a bug or do I have too much... Is, is, is there too much freaking stuff on you? I, I have no heals left. I think we're gonna lose. I don't think I got... Ah! I lost my... The best run I've ever had to a bug?! Uh, I mean, I, I actually do feel like I have to refund you on that. Originally, I was going to say, no, that's coward's talk. But then I'm like, no, that's actually, that's genuinely like refund material. That, I'm, I'm feeling like all of my enthusiasm leaving my body right now. What do you mean it's not a bug? We went down with 400. We came up a cycle later. We had 400. It was, it was bugged up, man. Well, that's unfortunate. Slash marker. Dome keeper. It wasn't a bug. You had too many resources and the collision wasn't working properly. Excuse me? Is the textbook dictionary definition of a bug? 
It wasn't a bug. The game just broke a little bit. Anyway, I made that guy up. Um, well, that sucks. That takes your that that really takes the wind out of your sails. And now I gotta edit that shit and render it. It's gonna take like eight hours to render it out on my PC. You stole my hard-earned points. What are you talking about? I refunded the bet. You psychopath. Touch grass. <laughs> Drink some water. Holy cow, chill out for a minute. Relax. Turn, toggle your caps lock off, you psycho. You know what we could do? I mean, I guess while we're here, we could just do a relic hunt run. Refund the bet. The birth bet just got refunded! What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. We, time travel viewer? Okay. Will we win this one? Yes, no. I'm gonna give you two minutes. Slash marker, dome keeper. All right, we just had a, a potential high score run stolen from us. 